WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, it was rainy Delray Beach, Florida, but I do see the sun is out now. That must mean uh, we've got rainbows out there. But this is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we've got a mixed bag out here. you got the Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ trading lower. The Dow's off 49, S&P's down 6, and the Ru NASDAQ is off 44. The Russell says, what are you guys doing? I'm up 13 points. And the Tranny say, I don't understand what you're doing because it's up 100 points. That's about 7 tenths of a percent to the upside. Gold trading out of 1760. That's up 5 bucks. Silver is down 10 cents, trading out at 22.56. A light, uh, light speed crude is flat. Natural gas up 11 cents. Uh, let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin with taking a look at the ES Mini upper left hand corner. We can see the price just sitting at the point of control. That's where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value. And that fair value is between the prices of 42.81 and 43.87. If you're asking which way is the wind blowing right now, it's into our face versus a uh, so we've got a headwind and we say a headwind because you've got that spot volatility trading above its 50-day exponential moving average 50-day right now is priced out at 1947 prices trade at 1973 if we take a look at the nq prices trading below and close below yesterday the bottom or not the bottom the center of its uh uh, center of its uh, bearish structured daily profile. That really does suggest that the NQ should target 14,470. The U.S. dollar index, strong like bold, not really doing too much, too, anything too significant to gold and silver. Gold's up a few bucks, but nothing big there. It's still finding resistance at the top of its daily profile, 1768. In the case of silver, it's at the center of its weekly profile. That's the resistance zone of 2282. Light sweet crude, uh, likely on its way to 8385, unless we see some type of bearish reverse candle which would then confirm a sell the d point and that would also be a butterfly pattern that's out there natural gas uh, is continuing to act strong price finds support at the top of that daily profile that's at 538 to close below 538 then we're looking at 507 to 492 but that is not the current message in the case of the 30-year treasury she's trying to complete that measured move that's a consolidation breakdown but uh, you got a brand new profile that is formed support at 157 and 14 30 seconds this looks to me like the 30-year treasury wants to make a run for the 159.18 level that's the center of its daily profile folks Stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show, but if you're off to start your Tuesday, we want you to have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care and be safe.